Stephanie, I love how you're teasing me by sitting out on that gorgeous sun-drenched patio of yours at Burger Station. What led you guys to want to open up a burger and a craft beer establishment? We were looking for something that's going to be fun for people to relax, watch sports, and just kind of come together over this passion for food and beer. We've got about 10 different options for handcrafted burgers on our menu, along with a build your own burger. We get our meat from a local butcher shop, a Jack and Cats down the street from us. We use their porterhouse patties. You guys are sourcing local, and that's reflected too in your craft beer scene. So we have 20 different beers on draft, and then we carry over 50 different craft beers and cans and bottles. We try to stick with mostly local source. Clearly right now with everything going on, people are looking for, for outdoor, outdoor dining options, and you guys have that. Having outdoor dining has been really big for us. We did not have outdoor dining before everything happened, and then we were allowed to reopen with outdoor dining only. To be honest, it, it made the difference on our, our business being able to succeed and make it. You attribute the, the patio setup that the village granted you as the difference between you guys surviving and potentially having a really tough time during the pandemic. We do. It's just been a really neat opportunity to be able to have customers sit out here with us and to feel comfortable dining with us. And on top of everything, it's just a, a kick-ass space, right? It really is. You guys have some, some crazy fun, different wild burgers going on, as well as your, your classics. What do you think is uh, the perfect burger as a representation of what Burger Station is all about? Probably the Spanish Revolution. So Ivan, Stephanie tells me that you are the creative scientist behind these awesome burgers. Being creative with the toppings is what makes it unique. The Spanish Revolution focused mostly on the chorizo. It's my grandma's recipe. She would cook it to me when I was, you know, young, and I wanted to incorporate some of that feeling into the burger. So we start with our Jack and Pat's fresh burgers. We get it locally sourced. You guys use use a porterhouse cut in this? Yes, it gives it that high-end taste, but still keeping it local, fresh. So I start with a heavy dose of seasoning. Let me get the chorizo going for you. When I tell my grandma, that I was gonna do the, the recipe. She was like, make sure you do it like I taught you, ingredient by ingredient. Has she been into taste whether your chorizo goes up to her standards? Ah, uh, yes. She told me it's not like hers, obviously. You know, she's not gonna tell me it's perfect. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna say you you taught it to me. I'm just gonna say it's mine. We've got a little in-family <laughs> fight happening right now over the legitimacy of the chorizo. And uh, she told me, you know, if that happens, I will come and hunt you. So make sure you always tell them I show you the recipe. So then after that, we grab our pretzel bun, which we get it from a local bakery as well, Honey Buttercup, and we're all supporting each other, buying local. I love what you guys are doing to, to support local. We have the pepper jack cheese melted, then we go ahead and add our chorizo, and then we add our house-made pickle jalapeno, nice avocado, and then we do our Cajun rinse from scratch. Beautiful. Once more to grandmothers. It's Guys, this is Here. not just an excuse for me to drink some noon whistle. To the, gra to the grandmothers out there. Yes, cheers. Without further ado, I would like to jump into this, this burger with you. Look at that, clink. The first thing I love is that patty that's made out of porterhouse. That's got a great kick-ass flavor to it. It's just the amount of flavors that you get from the first initial bite, the spiciness from the Cajun Ranch, the pickled jalapeno, the house-made uh, chorizo. If Ivan's grandmother is saying that this chorizo recipe that he makes based off of her recipe isn't as good as hers, I need to have her address because that chorizo, on top of that that powerful, beefy, punchy patty, is insane. It's an incredible combination. On top of the porterhouse patty with the pretzel bun, you can't beat that. I seriously think that this burger should make Chicago Ridge a, a, a gourmet burger destination. We're ready to serve them. I salute you. Long live Burger Station. Cheers. And by the way, can you tell Ivan that his grandmother can expect me to stay over for the next couple of couple of weeks? Is that Absolutely. cool? Absolutely, okay. we'll do.